And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Boston Red Sox taking on the New York Yankees. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get underway. And on the hill, Garrett Cole. Lots of punch outs. A real strikeout artist, Singy. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. So Leading just about set now. Ball. Here's the left fielder, the left Tommy Pham. That's a strike. Yeah. And away we go this afternoon. First pitch, 1 o'clock. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. Rolled over to third. Donaldson collects it. Tosses across the first. One up, one down. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part. You can get on the inside part of the plate as well. One down, base is empty. Oh, that's out. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Left field. And Benintendi able to make the grab. And Verdugo is set down. And there's two away. Batting third, the shortstop, Sander. Bogart. Two outs, base is empty. It's Xander Bogarts now. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Two down, two down. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Quickly in an 0-2 count, you've got to figure out a way to shorten your path to the baseball. Put it in play somewhere, then you got a chance. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Red Sox go down 1-2-3, and now the Bombers will get their shot. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Bottom of the first, and starting this one, Chris Sale. Chris, what are you looking for from him? Well, Sale's a strikeout pitcher, and the thing about it is he'll throw strikes early, but then start teasing the zones, and that's what the great ones do. you got to make sure you elevate him, get him out over the plate. That's the only way you're going to have a chance. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss as he was late. I love that Garrett Cole is sort of a throwback guy out there on the mound, sort of that classic power pitcher. He's going to attack with that fastball, move it all around the edges of the zone, and when he has to, fill up the strike zone with confidence that hitters can't touch it. Next offering way off the plate. Swings and misses. One out. J.D. Martinez stands in. The designated hitter. J.D. Martinez. First nope. offering and it just misses. Cole, of course, the first overall pick by the Pirates in the 2011 draft out of UCLA. 
and really blossomed as he moved from Pittsburgh to Houston in 2018. Late swing, fouled off. There's a 1 1. And another ball. He's one of the two pitchers to strike out 14 batters in three consecutive games. Pedro Martinez was the other to do it, but Garrett Cole, again, just a dominant pitcher that wants to finish what he starts. So glad these ballparks have installed the netting to protect the fans, keep things safer all around the league. The pitch. In the air, right field, and that'll get down for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. Here's Trevor Story now. Oh, this guy's going to have to slow things down. There's no reason for him to even check swing on that pitch. It was never even close. And he deals. Hey. That one finds the zone. And the count even at one. Hey, we got one out here. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Martinez over at first with one away. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Two out. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Now batting Tristan Casas. And a foul ball. The pitch. They say it went. Next offering is way upstairs. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. And down on strikes, and that'll do it. One left for the Red Sox, still behind by a count of one to nothing. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the center yeah, fielder, right Enrique Hernandez. For the Red Sox. The Swings and misses, oh, and it's 0-1. Why the kick the pitch? The count is one and two. And a swing and a miss. One down. You know, variant speeds can be just as useful for a pitcher as movement, as you see right there. It really wasn't a great location. But the fact that the velocity change had the hitter off balance, and that's all you got to do sometimes. Here's Reese McGuire. Ah. 
First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Righty to the plate. There's a strike. No ball, two strikes. Hey, we got one. And one and two. One and two. Here we go. Right now, fellas. Here comes a pitch. That's down and in. Lifted in the air, out to left. High, high, high. Benintendi puts it away. Two up, two down. Now batting, left field, Tommy Pham. Here's Tommy Pham. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. First offering misses badly for ball one. guys right hander kicks deals that's through there for a strike and it is two and one is there a little wrinkle to that I think there was yeah Little slider action. And two down here. And the righty deals. And now the count filled up three and two. Payoff pitch. Back up the middle in a base hit. The right fielder, number 99. So two down. Alex. Here's Alex Verdugo. Good contact guy, good defender. He's going. Fram right. on the move. Strike in there. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. Yeah, I like being aggressive right there with two outs. It's kind of a classic steal situation. You get thrown out, no big deal. That guy at the plate leads off the next inning. Now, a single to the outfield can push a run across. The 0-1. Ball. That one and one. Hey, come on now. Good eye right there. Good slider down and in can be so hard to get on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Hey, two away, the count two, two and one. Oh, and this is inside. Cole, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. Three one is on the way. Bounce to the left side. Throw to first is in time. And Verdugo is set down. Third out, and that ends the frame. And the Red Sox leave one. They still trail 1-0. Start of the fourth. Joe stepping in for Boston. Xander Bogarts. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. The 0-1. Bogart. 
Bogarts checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. No swing. Eric Summers Gill with the call. A little out front there as he swings through it. Bogarts, who wears that number two on his back for his idol, Derek Jeter. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And there's one down. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance of making contact with that pitch. Here's Rafael Devers. And Devers hits that one. Bader settles under this one. I got it, I got it. And puts the squeeze on that. That's out number two. Up next for the Red Sox, the designated hitter, J.D. Martinez. Two outs, base is empty. Now J.D. Martinez at the plate. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. First offering misses the mark. Just missed. Both you and I know how much attention to detail that J.D. Martinez pays. Kind of makes me think of Albert Pujols, who has been called the machine at times during his career. I'd venture to say you can put J.D. Martinez in that same category, at least the way he approaches his craft. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Two and one to J.D. Out to short. Connor Falefa picks it up. Zips it to first. And Martinez is out. And that is that. Red Sox go down quietly. They trail here. One nothing. Back at Yankee Stadium. We go to the top of the fifth. Here's Trevor Story. The wind and the pitch. Trevor in for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Hey, no outs now. The next pitch misses, and that is ball one. And there's a strike. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Nope. Next pitch misses, and the count's two even balls. at two. two Righty delivers. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. And next for the Red Sox, Tristan Casas. Now batting the first baseman, Tristan. And that's in there for strike one. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt a shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. The punch out there. That's his second strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's Kike Hernandez. In there, and it's 0 1. 
Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Two down here. Well, this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. And the right-hander deals. Ball. And there's a ball. The count is one and two. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. He handles it himself. Third out. Nothing doing for Boston. They trail it here, 3 nothing. Back here at the ballpark, and here's the catcher, Reese McGuire. Leading off for the Red Sox. The wind of the pitch. The catcher, number three, Reese. And that's downstairs and outside. And the 1 0. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Hey, nobody out now. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Here's a one-two. Stays alive. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. One away. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Back to the top of the lineup. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter. Tommy Pham. One for two. That one's in there 0-1. Two as he waves at that one. And a pitch. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And there are two outs. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left, so expect him to add on to that total. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. And stepping in for Boston, Alex Verdugo. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Hey, two-way. Two-way. Kicks and deals. That one missed. Well, this is the type of hitter you want up in this situation. Some sluggers coming up behind him. He's so good at moving runners, but also getting on base. See if he can be patient here. The wind to kick the 2 0. There's a strike. Was it one here? 
the wind of the pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. The three one. And down on strikes he goes. The big righty strikes out the side. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. Yankees three, and the Red Sox nothing. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, stepping in, Xander Bogarts. With the pitch. Xander Bogarts. Fastball gets the corner at the knees. And here it comes. Strike two. Oh, and, two. Hey, no out here. and a pitch. And ball and one. one and Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Right hander kicks deals. And a foul ball, he stays alive. One, two now. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Now it's Devers at the plate. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Left hand hitter waits. So now one and two. Big time GM right there. I hate it as a hitter, but standing in center field, you can't help but chuckle a little bit. And he deals. Nope. And now the count is even. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Two two now. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And two away to start the seven. Got him out on the front foot. Couldn't keep the hands back long okay. enough and okay. played right into the hands of the pitcher. Okay. And now JD Martinez. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Hey, two outs. Kicks and fires. Tapped in front of the plate. Tosses to first. And that'll do it. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. The Yankees four, and the Red Sox nothing. Back here in New York, ready to begin the eighth. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. Leading off for the Red Sox. The second baseman. In for a strike. 0-1. Oh, one. Oh, one's the count. Nope. 
just missed. And one and two. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. Pitch misses there. It's two and two. Hey, plays at one now. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there's one down. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting his stuff in this one, Boo. Feeling really good about what he's working with, and that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Now it's going to be Tristan Casas. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The wide to kick the pitch. And that one fouled off. The 0 2. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. In time for the second out. Good job to clean it up after the drop third strike. The center field, number five. Enrique Hernandez. So digging in, Enrique Hernandez. First pitch, and he just misses. Next pitch has popped up. Squeezes it, and that will end the inning. Red Sox go down one, two, three. They trail it here, four nothing. New inning getting started, and now the catcher comes up to him, Reese McGuire. The catcher, number three. That's in for a strike. He's been so sharp today. Even over 100 pitches thrown. His skipper is leaving him in there to finish the job. Hey, nobody. And the 0 1. That's in there. Quickly into an 0 2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Get him yourself right here. Let's go, baby. The pitch. Way upstairs. It's a ball and two strikes. And a ball evens the count. The pitch. In the air, left field. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. The left field, number 22, Tommy so the batting order turns over. Now the left fielder, Tommy Fan. One for three. First pitch just misses. Riding to the plate. And delivers outside. There's a strike. Two and one now. Fan tries to hold up, appeal to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Eric Summersgill. Gill. 
Next pitch just misses. And it's a full count. And here it comes. Got him looking. That's out number two. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter. But with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Now, Alex Verdugo. In there for strike one. The pitch. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. Terrific job in this game. He scattered two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count. Got himself all the way to the finish line and finished what he started. A 4-0 shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.